Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. Today we'll begin to explore how Excel calculates time. Today we'll focus on dates and in tomorrow's lesson we'll focus in on time. When we create invoices we want to be paid on time so understanding how Excel creates date calculations is important. Likewise when we're filling out payrolls to understand how many hours were worked at normal rate, how many hours were worked at overtime or on weekends. Okay let's begin. The first thing to understand with dates is that they are numbers. Specifically they are a serial number and even more specifically in Excel serial number one is January 1st of 1900. In this lesson I'll use the United States format for the date which is the month day year. If I want to reveal the serial number for January 1st 1900 here's an easy way to do it. Right now let's just make a copy or a reference to that cell. So in B4 we're going to make a reference to cell in A4. Now here is a great shortcut for understanding and working with dates. Control Shift tilde to reveal the serial number for January 1st 1900 Control Shift tilde is serial date number one and copying this down there we go. So I can see a serial date for any date that I want. Let's type in today's date. Let's use the shortcut. Hold down control while we touch the semicolon. There's today's date and if I want to reveal it serial date control shift tilde is the serial number for that date 39,687. That's how many days have elapsed since January 1st 1900. Now I'm not going to go into it but to make things more complicated for Macintoshes, Macintosh begins their date calculation not on January 1st, 1900, rather on January 1st, 1904. That's another lesson. Okay, some common date functions. Today is a very handy function. When we enter in equals today, and it's left parentheses and right parentheses. No arguments are needed, but it is a function, so we need to have left parentheses and right parentheses. We get the current date. And if I want to reveal its uh, serial number, control shift tilde, there is its serial number. We can do calculations. For example, if I want to see what day it will be 20 days from today equals today, left parentheses, right parentheses, plus 20. And if I want to see its serial number, control shift tilde. There we go. Okay, the date function is a very useful function but on its surface it's not so simple. Before we explore the date function let's explore the year function, the month function, and the day function. In all cases I'm going to be using July 4th 2008 whether it's formatted as a date or as its serial number. It doesn't matter. In all of our exercises we will be using July 4th 2008. So over here I use the day function equals day and then I made a reference to cell C7. Over here for the month function equals month and I made a reference to the cell C8 and the same thing for year equals the year function and the reference to the cell. So to understand a date I have to understand the year function, the month function, and the day function. So when I want to reveal the serial number for a particular date, obviously I could go ahead and control shift uh, tilde, but we're going to be using this in multiple calculations as we work through our lessons. So we will do equals date and let's bring up the function wizard. Control A gives me the dialog box. Instead of just typing in the year number, we're going to make cell references. So I could reveal it by doing 2008, month is 08, sorry, 08, and the day is 27, and that's going to give me my serial number. But to understand if we are using dates, and we want to use this in more complicated formulas, this is how we would enter it in. For the year, the year function, and then the reference to our cell. For the month, the month function, and the reference to the cell included in parentheses. For the day, 
the day function and our cell reference included in parentheses and click OK and there we go. All right, a couple more complications with dates. Starting date and ending date, how many days were in between? I have uh, named these cells end date and start date. My formula takes the end date minus the start date. Well, that's great if I didn't work on uh, January 1st of 2008 or if I didn't work on the 31st day. But what if I did? Then my formula becomes equals end date minus start date plus one. So we have to be very careful in how we define the day that we actually worked, the, the day that we are started to earn interest or the day that we started to pay interest. Okay, calculate the number of years between. In this case we have our first year, our second year, and our formula said very simple equals the year function made a reference to the cell for year two minus the year function and the reference for cell number one. When we returned the formula, it revealed a date. Now, remember a date is a serial number. It can be formatted to appear differently, but it is a formatted number. So to reveal its serial number, control shift tilde. Okay, calculating a person's age requires us to use an undocumented um, function. It's a hidden or a secret function. It's called the date diff. If you would like to learn more information on this and other um, functions that we're using here with dates and times, email me, danny at thecompanyrocks.com. Likewise, useful formulas for determining the day of the year. In this case, the formula is going to be using the date function. So we're going to make a reference to uh, today's date minus using the date function embedded within there the year function referring to today's date and then the rest of this is the month and the day. And for the number of days remaining in the year very similar. We're using the date function and embedding the year function with cell references in there. Okay, final concept. We know about autofill, and that's great when we want to autofill and we want to just increment it by a series, or if we wanted to increment it by months or years. It's great. But what if we wanted to have some flexibility with our starting date? We can create formulas. So for example, in days, rather than autofilling, we can refer to the prior cell plus one. So this way, if we decide to change our date, and instead of January the 15th, we made it January 31st of 2008, all of our formulas would update. Weeks would be very simple. It would take the prior cell plus seven. We also have some complicated formulas over here, or more complicated, but if you understand date with the year embedded, the month embedded, plus one in this case to increment by months and then the day you understand it. If you want to increment by year and have flexibility use the date function and inside that the year with the cell reference we want to increment it by a year plus one. The month function with a cell reference and the day function with a cell reference and then close off our parentheses. Okay if you have any questions you want to learn more send me an email danny at thecompanyrocks.com and we'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.